Thank you so much for joining us. Day one of Festival International 2018 is now in the books. Yeah, some of Acadiana's best musicians opened up this year's festival over at Sen Fedodo tonight. Three's on the street. Mike Carter is live downtown with a recap of tonight's festivities. Mike. Jim and Marcel, Curly Taylor, and Zydeco Trouble just finished up concluding day one of Festival International. It was a day filled with family, food, fashion, and fun. It's the largest international music festival in the country. So Wednesday night is the kind of the introduction into the Cajun French culture, uh, welcoming, especially because a lot of our artists from, are internationally are coming in tonight. Including Lafayette's own Grammy Award winners, the Lost Bayou Ramblers. Man, this is my favorite time of year in Acadiana. Festival International is such a special thing. Every community should hope to have something like this. Volunteers are what makes Festival International go. Hundreds of volunteers give their time with tips going towards keeping the festival free to the public. So every time someone tips the festival, we get really excited and just start ringing our bells saying, we got a tip! And what's the best thing about festival? Oh gosh, probably the food. <laughs> And while there are street vendors from all over Acadiana, if you're downtown Lafayette, why not try a staple? A crawfish Mimi Mac bread bowl sold by Pops Po' Boys, only available during festival. Ooh, that was good. Festival International brings in close to 300,000 people into Acadiana over the next five days, generating nearly $50 million in revenue for our area. And how do festival goers sum up day one? Foods, family and drinks. And if you want to hit up any of these street vendors down on Jefferson Street over the next four days, make sure you pick up one of these. These wristbands act like debit cards, only you can put cash, credit cards, a debit card. You preload it, and basically you wear it for the next couple days. You can walk around, purchase anything, but you'll need one of these if you want to buy anything on the street. Amazing first day, four days to go. What can we expect? Well, we'll have it all for you over the next coming days right here on KATC. Three's on the street, live in downtown Lafayette. Mike Carter, KATC TV3. All righty, thank you, Mike. Well, Festival International is showing younger generations how music is a universal language. Myrtle Place Elementary is teaming up with a youth choir from New Brunswick, Canada. The students and the choir will perform together during the festival, displaying their love for music and the French language. And something new for this year's festival, you might see people riding around Lafayette on electronic bikes. They're called Bud Bikes and they have motors that can match the speed of the rider pedaling or can be fully powered by pushing a throttle. For $35 you'll be able to rent those bikes for four hours. If two wheels aren't your thing, four wheels are available as well. You can still take the festival shuttle. Starting tomorrow, the shuttle will be running every night until Sunday when festival closes. It starts at Cajun Field. However, this year there will only be one shuttle stop downtown. You can get on the bus at the corner of Lee and Berry Street downtown tomorrow evening starting at 5, Friday at 4, and on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday starting at 1030 in the morning. The shuttle will run every 15 minutes. But if you want to drive and park downtown, parking at the Rosa Park Center is no longer free. Parking in that lot now costs $1 an hour during business hours and on Friday and Saturday nights. Parking will remain free for the first two rows, but only for post office customers. The Festival International app is a must have. It includes the music lineup after our events, festival news and more. And as Mike showed us, wristbands are replacing tickets this year and you can keep track of your spending through the festival app. Our favorite part though is as the official festival media partner, KETC's weather forecast can be found on the side menu so you can plan for your festival weekend all in one spot and with one app. And for full festival coverage all week long, head over to KETC.com slash festival. Here's Rob's 24 hour forecast. And so far, night one in the bag for Festival, but as we take a look at the radar satellite composite clouds moving in and even some showers starting to poke into western Louisiana, certainly the northern part of the state, all associated with a cool front that will be moving on through during the overnight hours. Rain chance overnight tonight at about 50%, mostly scattered showers. Then by tomorrow morning, activity will be ending. The clouds will be clearing out by noon and by tomorrow afternoon, back to mostly sunny skies, a nice breeze and by this time tomorrow evening,